I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby, up with a slow motion. You guys, what's up? So today's video is a really, really cool one. I'm gonna be showing you guys my filming setup, how I film and stuff, and also I'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup collection slash skincare collection that I keep next to me. They're all my favorite products when I film, which are gonna be all in these drawers. So if you guys want to see what my room looks like and how I have things set up in my drawers, then keep on watching. Okay, so as soon as you guys walk into the room, you're immediately hit with all of these flashing lights, okay? I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but as soon as you turn to the left, you will see a bathroom and some dog beds. Miko and Gucci stay right here, and then Cairo normally just sleeps all around. Gucci will also lay there, which is why there's another bed. So I come right here, I have a little chair. I have a mirror on top of a box so I can see myself a little higher. I also will have my ring light and my camera. So the camera that I use is the Canon 80D. This is my favorite camera so far. I did have a Canon, I think it was like a T-Rebel and I didn't like it as much. This one, it just seems so much more clear. I don't have a camera in the card, but I can see myself. So I normally just film and I can see how everything looks. To the left, I have all my brushes. If you guys saw on Instagram or on TikTok, you guys saw that I did a makeup brush hack on how I cleaned them in under 45 minutes, I think, and I didn't scrub them at all. So definitely go check that out. So I have a ton of these like clear acrylic cases that I put the brushes, tweezers, and everything in. Now just below my brushes, I have these three little metal drawers. So I keep my makeup removing towels, some dental floss, some toothpicks, and also these little cotton rounds in here just for when I am filming. I use these religiously. I love using these little makeup towels. I have them from Makeup Eraser, Lashy Box, and Derma E, and some other brands as well. And then the next drawer is a lash drawer. I have all my lashes in here. And then I also keep these like little Halloween kits. They're like cream colored shadows and stuff. So I keep them in there when I color my lashes. And then this drawer is notorious for falling out because it's so heavy, but it has my favorite liquid lipsticks and glosses. So this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This has the best formula. This is the shade Laguna Beach. I love this shade. I also have some of my favorite lip glosses to put on when I put my lip gloss, my lipstick on, my bad. From Moira and Cass Cosmetics. Cover Girl is so good. I love this shade right here. And then I have different like lip pencils, mainly from NYX Cosmetics. I love these Urban Decay. These are the Hi-Fi Shine glosses. They have like this peppermint minty plumping formula in them and look at how pretty these are. So I really, really enjoyed those. But yeah, that's my little three tier system. And because this is my filming section, I have to have stuff easily available for me to grab. So I keep this like a little acrylic organizer. I'm not sure where it's from, but if I find it, I'll link it down below. Some of the products don't fit. Like this is a ColourPop highlight. These shades are so beautiful and I just love using these while I film. Let me show you. Oh, if I can open it. Ooh, look at how pretty this highlight is, you guys. But I really like using this on a daily when I'm getting ready and stuff, so I still keep it here even though it doesn't fit. Or like this Lion King contour palette. I'm gonna keep it here because, hi, how are you? We want to contour, okay? Also, we'll keep some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes here that I use a ton. So this is the Sunkiss palette. This is from my brand. And as you guys can see, I literally use it so much. I love these shades. They're perfect for every day when I'm just getting ready for a quick TikTok video or, you know, just something calm, cool, and collective. Right here, I keep my mirrors. These are the Jeffree Star Pig mirrors. When I film, I put one right here. And then I will look up and you guys will see. Let's see. You guys see the light changing? I always keep a mirror under me when I'm filming because it just makes me look slimmer and makes the video look super bright. So there's a cute little trick. I also keep my earrings, my little, what are these, bobby pins, <laughs> some hair ponies, some lip gloss. I use this also for my eyebrows, my massager rollers. Here's some more massager rollers and jade rollers. I just emptied this out, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I will find a home for something there. Looking down here on the same desk, I'm gonna pull out this drawer, and this is where I keep my setting powders. So these are the Hello Happy from Benefit Cosmetics. These are the, what are these called? Um, Easy Bake Loose Baking Powders from Huda Beauty. 
CoverGirl Cosmetics Pacifica. Both of these are from them. This is an illuminating one. This is a new matte cherry one. Ruby Made Cosmetics. This right here. <laughs> Let me clean it off for you guys. This bish right here. This is the Juno Blur Makeup Setting Powder. This is amazing if you guys want to look like you have face tune. If you guys want to just look blurred out. Snatch to perfection. Oh my god. Did I even say that correct? Snack, snap, bleh, I can't talk. You guys understand what I'm saying. Snatch to perfection, that is the powder for you. This is also from June & Co, which is the same brand as this um, setting powder. One of my favorite beauty blenders ever. I have a half one right here too because I cut one in half. But you guys, they literally work so amazing. They don't soak up your makeup, they're furry. They are $6, but if you guys use my code MakeupJackieLove, you guys will save some money off. But yeah, that is what I keep in this drawer. Let's head over to this section, which I know everybody is super excited about. I'm gonna open and show you guys all of these things right now. So let's come into this section first. So this is my skin oil section. So I kind of have it like a spa on these like little wooden tablet thingies. So this front row right here, just this front section is like my favorite oils. I have the Farsali, I have tons of Pixie, which are all lined up right here. Fourth Thin Ray, Pacifica Beauty again, and I have a ton of theirs. Like I literally love their oils. They work so amazing. I also keep the Derma E right here. This is a Calm, Uplift, and Create. These are like essential oil sprays for your face. Starting off with the two top drawers in this column. This is all gonna be skincare related. So right here, I'm gonna keep my cleansing oils. These are gonna be my like stronger ones. This is the cleansing oil from DHC. And then this is gonna be the Lancome. This is a bifacial face. And then I also have the makeup eye remover from Lancome as well. Let me tell you, this is the best liquid micellar water I have ever used. This stuff takes your makeup off so amazing, you guys. Like, I try so hard not to use it because I know it's so good and I don't want to waste it, but I don't get PR from them, so I just buy it when I run out and it is so amazing. So definitely go check out that one and then the eye one, which was a little tester that I had and I'm out of it. I also get makeup wipes from a lot of brands. I don't necessarily use them. I leave them there for my sisters because I like to use makeup towels. Here we're gonna have eye balms, eye gels, and lip gloss, lip balms, and lip scrubs. Don't ask me why that's the combination. I truly honestly don't know. I'm a hot mess. But I have like individual eye balms right here and eye gels. This is the Patchology one. This is the Pharmacy Beauty. This is a cherry brightening eye serum this one is super super good as well also these are my favorite eye gel so patchology this is from the mask bar this one is from tony moly looks like this this is part of like their whale collection this one is from pixie beauty this is a detoxify eye which i really really like i've gone through several bottles of that this one is the Peter Thomas Roth. This one is a little bit more expensive, but it's the Cucumber Detox Hydrogel. I really, really, really liked this. It was really good for my under eyes. And then somewhere back here, I have more Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, which is so good, I love it. Right here, I'm gonna just keep like my favorite lip scrubs. This is the Lip Balm with Lavender. Um, I am obsessed with this brand called Cast Cosmetics. They have these Lux Lip Treatments. I think that's how you say it. And these make your lips so soft, you guys. And like, look at how pretty these shades are. So cute, I have a ton of those. And then of course, another Pixie. This was a lip plumping one. I don't know who is a Disney fan here, but Stitch, the Cheshire Cat, a little Dory moment, um, a little Mike Wazowski. I have a ton of those. I don't know where the rest of them are, but I have like Darth Vader and other ones as well. But yeah, this is the lip drawer and my cleansing balm one. So on to the next one. Let's push those fishes to the side. This is moisturizers, okay? Don't come for me. I have a ton of moisturizers. I literally am obsessed. My skin is dry, so jars are over here and little bottles are over here. So of course I have some belief. I had their eye balm over here, but this is their aqua balm. You guys can get it at Sephora. So you guys, it's gonna make your skin super hydrated and feel so good. Believe me when I say it. This is the glow recipe. This is their banana souffle. This stuff is so calming. It's a rehydrating and calming one. It smells super, super good and it's a cute little bottle. Over here in this drawer, this is the Wonder Beauty. I have two bottles right there as you guys can see. This is a Dipen moisturizer. I love this for every drawer if I'm about to do my makeup. This one is super, super good. 
Of course, I'm going to show you guys a ton of products from either Derma E or from Pixie Beauty. They hold special places in my heart. They have been with me since day one and have always supported me and taken me on brand trips. So, of course, this is the Acne Blemish Control Treatment Serum. You guys, if you guys have acne, you need this. I don't have a code with them, but this stuff right here is so good. I think it's like $15.99. But it is so so amazing it's gonna help get rid of your pimples legit almost overnight like I'll put this on my pimples and wake up the next morning and my pimple is not red it's so much smaller and I think it's because of the tea tree oil and the aloe vera tea tree oil is so good for acne you guys so but yeah moisturizing drawer the next drawers that we're gonna have so this is gonna be liquid cleansers so all of the liquid cleansers this is a soap cleanser and also I think I have like powdered cleansers in here. This right here is gonna be micellar waters and toners as well. I'm obsessed with micellar waters and toners. They just make my skin feel so clean and ready to go. Like I feel like if I don't put that on my skin before I do my makeup or my skincare, I feel dirty. So I like this Bliss one, this is a watermelon. Um, I like the Pixie ones, I have a ton of these. Uh, this one is a rose tonic water one. This one is their glow tonic, which you guys saw right here. I have a huge bottle of the glow tonic and that's the second one of those that they have sent me that I really, really like. So I keep these mini ones for travel. This is the Aloe Aqua Micellar Water from Hello Body. I have a code with them, so if you guys use code Jackie Aqua, you guys will get one of these bottles for free when you shop on their website. But yeah, this one is really good. This Murad one, this is a probiotic four-in-one multi-cleanser. This takes off your makeup, any dirt on your skin, and I really, really like this. I probably have like 10 videos up on this cleanser as well. But yeah, so these are the two drawers. So this is gonna be masks. And this one is going to be setting sprays, facial sprays, facial mists, toning sprays, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's that. The cleansers and the toning drawer is done. So we're gonna slide down and close these. So these are gonna be my toning mists, my primer waters, setting sprays for makeup, stuff like that. Anything that is spray related is gonna be in here. In here, I did a deep cleaning, so I threw a lot of my masks away. But these are some of my favorite masks. Um, I did a video that I'm gonna be posting probably next week. This is a deep moisturizing face mask. It has leatherwood honey and avocado. This is so good, it makes your skin feel so nice. Um, this is a daily super foliant from Dermalogica. Really, really good. If you guys have seen the Huda Beauty one that I tried, this one is a pretty good dupe for that. This one does exactly the same thing and probably for half the price. So definitely go check out that. I have some more Peter Thomas Roth right here. This is a cucumber gel mask in here. And then right here is the Vitamin C Instant Radiance Citrus Facial Peel. Damn, I can't really talk today. I'm so like shaky, but this is right here, it smells exactly like oranges. It smells so, so good. But yeah, so that's these two drawers. I keep tons of Smashbox Citrus Primer Waters. This one is almost empty. This is another primer water from them, almost empty. This one, I know you guys have probably seen the Farsali line. This is a skincare uh, rose gold skin mist. It's so good, and look at how pretty these rose flakes are, you guys. Like, ooh, it's so pretty. And then, yeah, face masks here. And then this one I also cleaned out. I gave a ton of brand new masks away in some giveaways that I did last week. Um, I went in everyone's DMs and I gave away a ton of makeup and skincare randomly. So if you guys want to win some stuff, you know, go check out my Instagram. But right here, you guys can see masks are kind of floppy. So, I mean, I don't really necessarily care to organize them that much. But here's some of my favorite. This is a Pacifica. This one right here is really good. All of their masks from Leaders USA is bomb. A Pixie Glow mask. This one is the Bio Bell. They have amazing masks too. I just did a giveaway with them. And then the Cream Shop is one of my favorites as well. So yeah, that's gonna be these two drawers. They're not as full anymore, but that's okay because I'm gonna fill them up with a ton of more goodies for giveaways and stuff. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, so going over these drawers real quick, I have my primers in here and I have my foundations in here. This top drawer right here is empty. I'm gonna put my lashes in there, but these are what these drawers look like. I have some Huda Beauty primers, 
some Smashbox, if I can grab it, some Smashbox. This one minimizes your pores. Elf Putty one, this one's super, super good as well. This one's like $5. This drawer is gonna be mainly Benefit Cosmetics because they are really the only people who ever send me foundation and also Moira Cosmetics. I love their foundation. It is so amazing. I have it in multiple shades. I should wear shade 250, but I have the 300 and 200 right here because my sister stole the other one. I also really, really like this foundation. This is a pure four-in-one love your selfie. So it is long wear. It's a foundation and a concealer. It's super, super good. Also, one of my favorite foundations ever. I buy this at CVS. It's from Joa. Truly Yours Natural Drip Foundation. So good. Now, next to the foundation drawer, I'm gonna have some of my highlights. So this is where I keep my highlights and blushes. These are from Artist Couture, all of these ones right here. I love them. Let's see if it's kind of shows up on my hand right here. So in here I have a ton of Danessa Myricks products. For makeup, she is one of my go-to. Her products are so blinding and so pretty. So this one is a highlight. I have another one right here. Let me show you guys this. Like, let me zoom in. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm gonna put some on my finger. You guys, like, come on. So beautiful. And this is what it looks like, like blended out onto your hand so snatched now closing these two drawers i'm going to have the long-awaited eyeshadow drawer so i keep all of my eyeshadows in here if you guys want to see what eyeshadow palettes i have comment down below just because i don't want this video to be so so long but you guys can see moira huda hip dot jeffree star urban decay um more huda ruby may cosmetics those are those eyeshadow palettes and here i just have some serums and stuff this is from twin medics these are mainly treatment products. This is the Redness Relief Essence from Dermalogica. And they also just sent me this new product. This is the Retinol Clearing Oil. So clear skin overnight. So I'm gonna do a video on this as well. The next drawer is gonna be cleansers and I hate this mask, don't get it, it's so horrible. Don't know why I still have it. But this is gonna be some more cleansers. I showed you guys the eye balm for this. Moisture Boost Gel to Water Morning Cleanser. It's so, so good. And then that's gonna be that for that drawer. And then his my light just fell and it broke. So <laughs> I, can't, I need to get a new bulb for this, but I'm gonna turn it off. It's the one that was sitting here on my desk. Lord. Who did this? Like, why got a crack like that? Why couldn't it just fall out? Unbelievable. So in this drawer right here, I have all of my loose pigments, my loose shadows, my liquid shadows, and my liquid primers and stuff. This is where I like to keep that. I also keep my liners, my eyebrow gels, and any extra mascaras that I'm not using that much in here. So as you guys can see, this entire row is Huda Beauty. I have my brand liquid shadow right here, Jackie Love. Um, I have the Balm Cosmetics right here as well. Those are super good. And then I have the Pixie one. These ones are super pretty as well. I really enjoy liquid shadows because I feel like they're super, super pigmented. So that is why I have so many. Under this drawer right here, I have a ton of more loose pigments. And then I have a ton of benefit hidden back there. But I have loose pigments. These are all from the Naked Cosmetics. They're so pretty. Don't mind my dog barking in the back. She's a savage. You can mix these with cream, with your mascara, put these on as highlight or just regular eyeshadow. They are so pretty and some of them even look crystallized. So I really, really like that for a highlight or that inner corner bling bling, you know? So that is it for this drawer. So over here in this corner of the room, I have a big window, but I don't open it. I have my wigs, my headbands, my scarves or whatever that I use on my head for my skincare videos and when I'm getting ready with my makeup. Here I have like sports bras and some robes and stuff that I wear in my videos or just for when I get out of the shower. And then I'm still so sad about this light, you guys. Like, how did it break? Like I was just there, like, what the heck? So right when you get up, I have a closet. RP to the light. And then again, this is this section over here. So this is the way I have my lights set up, minus the one that was standing up right here. So I have one above, two on the side. I had two on the side and the ring light. And then for the backdrop, I have the two ring lights to light up the back. It's dented because my dogs like to fight, Cairo and Miko. 
but this is what this looks like right here. So if you guys film, you don't need this many lights. It's just this room is super, super dark and the walls are tan and I don't like the way that it looks if I don't have a ton of lights on. So this is just how I like to keep it. So now walking to the bathroom, you guys have the entrance to the beauty room and then this is the bathroom. I keep these mats in here so I can wash my brushes. These are from Sigma Beauty. Um, they are dirty because I literally use them so much and I have one over here as well. These sponges are dirty. I'm gonna clean because I was filming this morning. But I keep a Google Home in here, some brushes for whatever reason and a plant. But this is the bathroom. I do have drawers and cabinets but those are a mess and then there's a toilet back there. But yeah, that is my beauty room tour. And that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you liked it. It might have been a little long and all over the place just because I have so much stuff and then it broke a light. I kind of got nervous, but um, I hope you guys learned something or enjoyed the organization of it all. If you guys liked this video, make sure you guys hit a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also comment what your favorite part of this video was. If you guys have any questions on my filming, setup or how I set up my backdrop or anything, please let me know and comment down below as well. I'll be answering everybody's questions and comments. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.